Car high. Made the headlines surprisingly. Yeah. The, the situation today, today is we obviously need to keep an eye on it, and there's obviously going to be a follow up. Mm. Um, we've got two crews down there at the moment. Ten standoff. Um, they're just basically waiting for the contractors to arrive to see what the uh, protesters are doing. Mm -hmm. It's one week today since the protesters were removed from inside the college. They say Richmond Council is considering a raid in the next few days. The council rejects the... Ah! It's one week today since the protesters were removed from inside the school. Every person on this news team has a distinct task to perform. But their common goal, putting a story to air each day, means they must work together as a team. They're interdependent upon each other and must interact to achieve their mutual goal. I was picking up a megaphone so that it wouldn't be run over by the truck. Okay. Like most teams, teamwork benefits the organisation by producing high output in an environment of urgent deadlines. And for the group members, teamwork allows each of them to specialise in the area of their greatest expertise. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Bye. Mark, how, is it, how important is teamwork here? Well, in an industry like this, it's all about communication. The communication that goes into teamwork is critical. I mean, one part of the, the team doesn't perform and the whole story doesn't exist. Simple as that. So who have you got to communicate with? Well, you've got the crew that you're working with, a camera person and a sound recordist, and then you've got the whole infrastructure back at base who are assigning stories and assigning crews and, and basically keeping the wheels moving. The end goal is the news uh, bulletin at the end of the day and everybody's got to strive for the best bulletin. Um, so teamwork's just an aid to that. Well, the teamwork doesn't end while you're on site. You've got to get back to base. Then you've got to work with editors and uh, sub-editors, people who are actually putting the story Storm together down. for you. So okay. I'll write a script and then someone's got to sub that script. Then someone's got to put the pictures onto the words. So you've got a whole other team, net uh, team network, I suppose, working to produce that single entity. That, 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 that looks better. More punch. Yeah, that's fine. I'll print you two copies and you can... Go edit. Thank you very much. No worries. The assistant commissioner says the occupiers were given a warning to move. How's it going? This is great. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. That's the sort of stuff we're going to leave with. This, uh... Basically, you're the head of the team. How important is it for you to convey the goals to the other members of the team? Look, it's it's vital. Um, they need to know where we're going each day, what stories we're covering, how we're covering them. There are so many events that happen, you can't go chasing every, everything. So you need someone there who can work out what are the main stories we should be covering, how we go about covering them. And I'm the linchpin in between all the people who work here. And I'm the one who has to make sure that everyone knows exactly what's happening. Because, as I said, if uh, all it takes is one person in the whole scheme of things not to be told something, and it could have dire consequences. Once again, police escorted builders into the college. And again, protesters were determined to stop them. Work of art, isn't it? Of course. You love it. The Premier seemed cool about the rift between his government and the state's top lawman. If he wishes to uh, <laughs> more. use the media, as he has in the last mm. few days to express a point I don't know why no one used that shot the other day. To actually make that constructive it criticism. Yeah. How are we travelling? Well, we're in the middle of 19 over. We've still got to get an intro for jobs preview. We've still got to get a final, final time for um, Richmond as well. Immediately, if he wins, there's a period of the bench. Four, three, two, one. Title's rolling. Stand by to open his mic, stand by to cue. 
Open his mic. Cue him. Good evening. Edwin Ma in Melbourne with ABC News. The protesters have agreed to withdraw their demand that college be reopened. Who's rolling? Take. Once again, super. police escorted builders into the college. Super. And again, protesters were determined to stop them. The council rejects the suggestion, but says they do have major concerns. 